Saturday, November the 5th of 2022, and we're at Evergreen Cemetery. Um, we're in the east half. We're just in the, the northeast corner, I guess. Um, and this is the area that the city is developing into new burial ground, but we've been fighting this since 2007. It's all fill. It's a combination of branches and trash, uh, but the city has been told they cannot do this, but they insist on trying to expand the cemetery onto the old Highland Park Cemetery grounds, which is documented to have no more than 500 burials. And it doesn't take long, you just walk back here in the woods, and now you get to see all the mounds of dirt and spoils. See a big tree here. Now this is this is a slow grade that comes down this way, but then it's a sudden drop off. It's kind of hard to tell the contrast with um, all the leaves down. But there are humps here all over the place and it's very clear to see that this ridge, um, this whole side of the cemetery here on the east half is uh, nothing but fill where they've just dumped trash over the years. <clears throat> and it's on top of the old Highland Park. Popper's ground. Okay, we're well now we're in the uh, the north part of the west half of of Evergreen here. We were just right down this way, and here's another little unnatural knoll that is here. This is more indicative of the natural landscape here with a drop off that goes off into the watershed. But over the years, the city has been coming in here and pushing dirt. You can see that where the curbing goes, all this just kind of runs off this way. But the city's been pushing dirt and debris in here, creating these artificial knolls. And eventually they'll try to connect all of this together but what's underneath this is this, concrete. Now, I don't know if this is what was torn out. Who knows where this came from? But it's illegally dumped here. You can see the, the big drop off here. You come over this way and you can really see the stark difference here of what the natural grade was and how they're trying to expand this. Here you have a cache of tires and trash and debris, and this is really what happens down here. This is someone's trimmed brush and just pushed it off the side. Here's concrete. It might be part of a monument, who knows. This is the problem is the city has done this to this area since the 1970s, slowly filling over the top of the old Highland Park Cemetery, which was established in 1891, um, and have obliterated it so they can meet the needs of the east side community by creating more burial spaces when the cemetery should have been, or technically was filled up years ago. Here you can see, coming on, on the edge of this knoll, there's that little piece of concrete. Here you can see what the natural grade is. Here you can see where the water is coming off the road. And it just eats, eats a passage down through here. Watershed protection should be having oversight on this because now with these new roads, uh, and the way the curbing is, we're just funneling water back off over here and we're, we're adding more silt and more things into the watershed. We're going to come back over this area. So here they have the filter mat down to try to prevent this from happening. And it's staked in, but of course they haven't done it all the way down here as they should. And sodded this. This is another one of these artificial knolls 
from Phil and you can really see that this is just dumped. Occasionally you'll find a bunch of white rock, things like that, uh, where they've taken rocks and there's the plastic bags where they've cleaned off a grave site where somebody put a bunch of rock on it, made it hard to maintain, all that stuff just gets dumped over here. Now you see the natural grade here and then the artificial fill that come up here to create this. Over here on the corner, we're gonna go there next. Okay, here's something with a circuit board. It's not hard to see appliances, but you can see all the fresh dirt dumped down in here. And all along this edge line here. So when they did all this, this curbing work, they went ahead and dumped more dirt over in here. Here you can see how the water is washing out. Here's a big tree, tree number 1134. That there's a bunch of fill over the uh, over the critical root zone, so this tree is not long for the world. And again, more tires, bags of trash, more tires here. Where is it? There it is. Zoom out. So this whole this whole edge for all these many years. Where, where the people who want to buy a cemetery plot now think it's a nice, big, beautiful lawn, it's fill. It's not stabilized. And um, once they start burying people in it, the whole thing may subside and just fall off. Let alone that they buried people on top of a trash pit. Now, this fence line used to be opened up years ago. This is the north fence line of the cemetery of its 30 acres. It goes down this way, and there's a pile of, uh, somebody backed in there years ago, and there's a dump truck load of uh, asphalt shingles down in there. So there's all kinds of stuff that's been dumped in here. Parks Department has had management of this since 1986. I've been involved since about 2005 here at Evergreen, documenting the illegal dumping. Uh, and then the city is very clear that you need permits in order to add fill and protect this watershed, I guess, unless it means the city's going to lose money on selling burial spaces. And then perhaps they just look the other way. They have been for years. Let's see if we can fix that. There's, let me see. Pile of trash down this way. But of course, it's nobody in the city's job to come back here and pick all that stuff up you know and then you can see where they put the fill in you can see the the ridges where the water is just coming through here and carrying all the sediment further down all right guys at watershed this is what you didn't want to come out and see so i had to come out and make a video i'll archive this for future generations.